Hi, I'm Michael Barrett with Neighborhood TV. And if you've ridden through Spencer anytime recently, you may have noticed a ghost sign, as they're called, that's being restored and repainted on the side of one historic downtown building. Sisters-in-law Earl Thompson and Raines Cuppin are the two professional artists making the magic happen, bringing the mural back to vivid life with patient, precise strokes of their brushes. But they are asking for the help of longtime residents in figuring out exactly what the top of the ghost sign needs to look like. Here's how they got to this point and a little bit more on the community insight they need. The biggest roadblock that we have encountered in trying to restore these signs is the top one has worn away so poorly that we don't know what it says. Thompson and Cuppin, who are one year apart in age, were both art majors at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill more than two decades ago. They met when Thompson began dating Cuppin's brother, Bo. Soon after graduation, they began using their talents together on assorted jobs, painting nurseries and working on various murals. What they both thought would be a three to six month partnership has now lasted 23 years, and they consider themselves not only colleagues and best friends, but the equivalent of sisters. While Thompson's parents still live in Salisbury, she and Cuppin now both live in Raleigh, with regular jobs that involve painting and updating murals at the UNC Children's Hospital in Chapel Hill. Um, the hospital is they're constantly adding on and and changing things and updating so it's just like the never-ending project which is great we paint a lot of animals sort of nature themed murals just because those are appealing to both girls and boys all different ages i think we have both found that work to be really rewarding because the murals really you know, liven things up. Two years ago, University of North Carolina lead fellow student Sky Allen was assigned to the jurisdiction of Spencer. She began working on projects that include a new Greenway trailhead and other initiatives aimed at making the town more pedestrian friendly. But Allen also pitched the idea of restoring several of the town's ghost signs, which is the term for old advertising murals on the sides of buildings that have begun to wear away and fade. But along with all these projects that were coming along, I also saw all these really old, beautiful, faded signs that really spoke to Spencer's past as an industrial hotspot. And um, I was able to raise the funds through several grants, including the Blanche and Julian Robertson Foundation, the uh, Margaret C. Woodson Foundation, as well as generous contributions from the Board of Aldermen to fund the restoration of these beautiful old signs. Um, we heard of these incredible local restoration artists who had done a lot of work in Salisbury and had done a lot of other individual mural work in Chapel Hill who had just created these beautiful old signs and we were really interested in their talents and we did a, um, a public interview process and we, they were the best qualified and thus far they've done incredible work and we're thrilled to see what they're going to do next for us. But with the current project, they need help with a missing piece. One of the segments of the mural celebrates Coca-Cola with its iconic red and white script, while another heralds Wallace Realty Company in a green, white, and yellow scheme. And yet the portion that used to be at the top remains a mystery. The challenge of restoring this segment of the murals is we need to know what the top sign says. We can't figure it out. We um, have gone through archives, we've talked to locals, we've talk to building owners and we can't figure out what the top goes sign says. So that is our biggest challenge trying to figure that one out. Normally we can we can identify bits and pieces of what was painted, but that one is so worn away that there's really not any pieces of the puzzle for us to work with. Even the pictures I took in 2013 look the same as it does now. So it doesn't and I've tried filters on my computer and Anyone with information on what the topmost sign might have said is asked to call Sky Allen at Spencer Town Hall at 704-633-2231, extension 26. For Neighborhood TV, I'm Michael Barrett.